Hey everybody, Christina here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am reviewing for you this beautiful wig called Christina from Uniwigs. I'm really excited about this one. It is somewhat similar to the Charlotte wig, which I have sitting right here. So I did want to show you a side by side. Um, that way you could kind of get a feel for what the difference is between these two blonde wigs are, but very beautiful. This is straight out of the box. So I do need to work on it a little bit because it does have a little bit of crazy box hair, but I always like to show you what you are getting as soon as you put it on your head. That way, when you get a wig and you're like, what in the heck is this? You know that you can work with it. It's no big deal. Most wigs come with some box hair, especially long wigs like this that are in transit for quite some time. So we are gonna work on doing that, but I did wanna show you the only thing that I have done to this wig is cut the lace off on it. So it does come with about two inches of additional lace. Once you get that, you're, once you get the wig and you decide that you're gonna keep it, you would just trim that back um, just along the hairline. So I did wanna show you what the hairline on this looks like. I have not done anything to it. There are some very light, knots which are easily masked with a little bit of makeup like i've said before knots don't bother me i actually prefer to have knots over bleaching just because it's going to save the integrity of the wig and you're not going to experience shedding as much versus a wig that has um bleached knots it, you're going to experience shedding a lot quicker um so i would rather my wigs to last and just use a little makeup to conceal knots that's no big deal to me at all so great hairline. This is um, a wig. If you do not have bio hair, this does not have ear tabs on it. Um, so if you don't have bio hair, you're probably going to want to glue this down or tape this down. I never glue or tape my wigs just because I always take out my bio hair right here just to blend along the hairline. Um, and it's not a big deal. I never have to glue them down. I just use a wig grip to keep them on. But very beautiful. Um, if you want to see a side by side, this is my Charlotte. So it, this is definitely a warmer blonde. Um, it's still overall, I would say a neutral blonde, but in comparison to Charlotte here, Charlotte is a very icy, creamy, beautiful blonde. Um, and this is going to be a little bit more warm in tone. And then another big difference between Charlotte and this Christina wig is the rooting. So the rooting on Charlotte is a much darker, um, I would say medium neutral brown. And this is going to be probably more of a dark blonde um, rooting. And this is a balayage um, coloring job. So just a little bit different. It doesn't have the kind of highlights that Charlotte has. So some subtle differences between the two, but both very beautiful blondes. So let me go style this wig, get rid of the box hair, and then we'll talk uh, cap construction and some stats on it. So we got rid of the box hair, we styled her to our own liking, and I am feeling much more myself now in this wig. I always like to show you guys what these look like out of the box because a lot of times, especially for new wig wearers, you get a wig, you put it on, and it's got box hair, it's not quite your style, it needs a little tweaking, and I'm telling you, do not give up on a wig. Try to look past box hair and all of the superficial stuff because once you style them to your own liking, 
it can completely transform the wig for you. And that's how this one was for me. Cause I knew as soon as I put it on, it was going to need a little bit of styling. Um, it was definitely not throw on and go, but that's okay because most wigs aren't. They're going to need a little bit of styling, especially human hair, because in transport, they're going to get box hair. So you got to kind of work with them. So let's move on. Let's talk specs and take a look at this wig. So Christina here is 22 inches long. However, I have my handy dandy measuring tape because I have a feeling that is a very generous 22 inches because this is a long one and she is even curled. So I'm going to go down the middle, which is right about here. That would be the middle. And we're going to go measure so it's about 23 inches curled. Um, so straight, it's gonna be longer. Um, so generous 22 inches, but it is slightly layered. Um, so you have some slight layers in it. The color is Vanilla Butter Blonde. That's 626R. It's a lace front 13 by four base. Um, and the density on this is 150%. So a little bit higher density, it's going to feel more glam. If you're used to 130%, which is pretty standard um, for human hair wigs, I think 130% is my kind of sweet spot. It's just my great, like, kind of everyday density. It's very natural. Um, 150 is about as high as I like to go. Once I go over 150, it feels like too much hair on me. Um, but 150 just gives that kind of little extra boost of glam in my opinion. So let's take a 360 on this one. So beautiful mermaid hair. And I can't really turn all the way around in this chair. But very, very pretty loving this color. Now that I have it styled, I'm actually loving the color a lot more um, than when I first put it on. For some reason, when I first put it on, the blonde was kind of throwing me off. But now that I have it styled, I actually really, really, really love this. So again, it has like a light, light brown, dark blonde rooting. So very subtle. I love a rooted piece. To me, it just makes it look all the more natural. So let's take a look at the cap really quick. Um, like I said, this is a, a cap that does not have ear tabs. So if you do not have bio hair, you're most likely going to have to glue or tape this down. Um, but if you do have bio hair, just take some of your bio hair out of the side and blend it out. Um, and then you won't have to do anything with it. So here's a look at the cap. So it has that 13 by four um, base on the lace front. Um, so you can part this anywhere that you want. You're going to have that beautiful hairline. It's a closed wefting back, has cones at the side and at the back, and then it has those um, adjusters so you can tighten it however you'd like. Um, I will say that most Uniwigs pieces fit on the larger side, in my opinion. This one feels really good to me. So I have a 21.75 circumference, and this one doesn't feel too big or baggy on me like some of them do. Um, so I really love the fit on this particular cap. So pretty basic. There's not a whole lot to the cap, um, but let's go put, go ahead and put it back on. <laughs> Okay, so with those combs, I usually like to take the combs and the back comb and I like to tuck it into my wig grip just for some added security. Now, I don't find the knots on this over the top, but you can, if you are like somebody that absolutely loathes knots, just take a little bit of light concealer in translucent powder, go underneath the cap and just um, put that where the knots are and you will conceal the knots. No problem. If you go and look at my review that I did on this Uniwig Charlotte piece, I actually take you through the process of concealing the knots on that wig because the knots on this wig, because it is a darker rooted piece, were a little bit more noticeable and needed to be um, taken care of. So go check out that review if you want to see how I conceal the knots on these wigs. But like I said, this is a this is still like a very light knot because of the color of the rooting. So it's really not all that noticeable, but just a little bit of translucent powder or concealer in the part will take care of that. No problem. So 
This is Christina. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the, you know what to do. Leave a comment below if you have a question. I'll be happy to answer it. Y'all, it's Thursday. We're getting through the week. <laughs> so if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, y'all. Bye.